Hey everyone, so I've been getting a small amount of traction lately, so I decided I want to do a little experiment for the shorter series. Look at Graph. Only about 10% of people are actually subscribed to my channel. So if, you, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyway, on with the video. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Slime Boss here and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 2. Last time we took on green... I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's green. Uh, this time we're taking on World 2. <laughs> and we see a new friend here. So Rick didn't last long, obviously. He's the worst of the animal friends. Just kidding. Um, but basically, each animal friend actually has a unique ability um, with each of their abilities. So I don't know what he can do by himself. Um, he just has a really high jump, I guess. I think he can climb. I just don't know how to do it. But maybe that was only a feature in Dreamline 3. But anyway, entering in level 1 here. Let me check something real quick. Okay. So each stage has, or each uh, copy ability has a little bit of a unique animation where uh, the animal buddy smooths. Um, unlike newer Kirby games where they have like deep dank lore in the pause screen, so. We just have all the cuteness that we can have. This right here is a Cappy. I just know that from memory. Man, I really want to get to know another ability. I think Rick is definitely the cutest of them, but like, I don't really know what he can do. Rick is Rick. No, darn it. I didn't want this. Press select, you can remove uh, the copy ability that you currently have. And here's a Scarfy. Oh, he blew up. And we have Kine here. So Kine is a brand new animal friend. And he can fly. Mm -hmm. So now, we're... We, we can fly. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. We can fly. Uh, again, here's the parasol ability. He basically does a twisting motion. But I really want to try a new ability. Thank you. There's a Gordo down there. Um, fuck! God damn it! <laughs> can you respawn, please? Okay, good. I want the fire ability, because that's literally the only two abilities that we've seen so far. Anyway, here is the fire ability with Koo. Uh, wait, did I say that? Did I say? Did I name him Kine? No, this is Koo. My bad. Anyway, this is how it works with Kine. Fuck, Koo. Um, basically, every animal adds a different ability to you. Um, they have their own unique abilities, as well as uh, an ability with a copy, an ab copy ability. This right here is the Feather Cutter. Um, let's check. Okay, no, so here's the animation for just Kine, or Koo. Koo. Um, but they don't have one for every copy ability. It's just like, depending on which animal friend you have. Okay, I don't know how to do that mini game at all. Um, so basically, you you'll you just find the animal friends in each of the levels. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them all. Um, um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to show off every single ability um, by the time the end of the game comes. Because I don't even know how many abilities there are in the game. Um, this stage is the one that includes, uh, the next water rainbow drop, uh, but, uh, we do not have the ability to do it yet, so, uh, we're gonna have to skip out on it. It was in this room, by the way. Um, we will come back for it in a, uh, by the end of this stage, I hope. Ow. Run. I am going to die. Hey! Oh, there it is. So this is Spike. Spike basically allows us to have a... Oh. A downward spike. Um, basically only hitting below us. Uh, at least specifically with Ku here. Wait. 
I don't think we've actually seen Fire Rick yet, so we'll have to look at that soon. And Fire, or Spike, Spike Rick. Pretty short level there, so we can easily go back in. Oh, we did it! Yeah, baby! Let's go. Let's go. It just gives you a one-up. Um, I believe there might be a secret where if you go from one stage to the next, which I didn't know was in Kirby's Adventure, but it was in that. Um, basically, um, if you go from, like, the bottom to the top all in consecutive order, uh, you get a 30 lives, I think. Well, at least that's what happened with, uh, Kirby's, Ad Kirby's Adventure. I'm not sure if they do it here, but... Anyway, there's the water droplet for this level, and I will see you guys when the level is finished, because you don't need to see it again. Alright, now we're moving on to level 3. But, again, just like the last few Kirby games, it's really just a race to the finish. You don't have to worry about collectibles in every single stage like you do with Mario Bros. It's literally just a race to the finish and explore what you can. These guys are Kaboos, I think. Oh, wait, we haven't even seen Rick Cutter either. Rick, Rick Cutter. Rick Cutter. Rick Cutter. Oh gosh. Ow. The only thing that sucks is that you do have to, you know, having Kine or Ku flying around everywhere, you kind of. Oh, yo. You have to, uh. Unfortunately, go down to the bottom and press down to get your ability, so. Anyway, I don't know what this guy's called, but he's basically the another umbrella dude, Parasol. But you you probably recognize him from Japanese folk, traditional Japanese folklore. Uh, I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. I think he was actually a beta design for a Pokemon as well. But basically, uh, they're basically demons. And right here is Gooey. Which, I, I don't know what he does, but he's here. Gooey is, uh, probably a little bit more important. He's another animal buddy, um, but I don't think we can actually use him. I'm not sure. Because when I was with Rick, it overrid Koo. It overrid with Koo, so I don't know. If, I don't know if he's actually a rideable or what. But he, he does get more of an important role in Dreamland 3, so... We'll get there when we get there. You'll notice that a lot of these enemies don't really give you much. Uh, that's something that they will try to do late in later entries. Give old enemies new abilities and stuff the like so oh we did it again let's go let's go all right well it's about that time we take on the boss boss time and it's a uh, reference to uh ow yeah it's a reference to ow um it's a reference to the the fight that we had with um, lo 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 and la la la, come you know the enemy coming from side to side. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what this guy's name is though. He's a 
warthog, I think, or hedgehog or something. Ow. Oh, Kirby. Oh! Watch out for his bombs. His balls. Bombs. No! Oh, Kirby, God! No! Oh. <laughs> Ah, okay, that was not fair. Do you not have an ability? No. I lost it at the very beginning. Oh. All right, come on, he has like one hit left. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And that is, I didn't even read the name of the level. What was the name of the level? Did we get oh, a name for it? No. It's uh the forest air forest zone, yay. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh will YouTube tell me? Uh Big Forest, yeah, alright. Well, next time on Kirby's Dreamland, we will be taking on World 3. So, we'll see you guys then. Bye. Kudos, you made it to the end of the video. Continuing with my little experiment thing, comment the word tree. Of course, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It, all of it helps me out a ton, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.